Now get another, get the other piece of black, or turn that one over, either one, I don't care. Whatever one you want to do, we're going to do something else. Involving a different technique of the, this is very, this is very, this one is very controlled, very <coughs> precise, everything, and the, the next one is like, so, first thing I want you to do with this, with, with this next activity is I want you to hold your pencils like this, not like this, like this, so, you know, like you did with the, to get the perspective, okay. Here's the technique. It's called a quick notebook sketch using a photo. You don't have to use a photo, but we're going to use a photo simply because we're here on black paper again. All right. So, here's the photo journal I made. It, it had an opening color, so I needed a, a uh, opening photo. So I chose this one of a bison. Okay. There's the front page. So we made a sketch of this with the side of the pencil, not the, not the point. This is this is preform. And then I wrote all the places on here that we've been. Decided I needed some orientation on it. That's the journal cover. Okay. So here's point one. Here's the place I went. And here's the interpretation again, very quickly. These shouldn't take more than five or 10 minutes to do the whole thing, okay? Does this look like that? Yeah, yeah, you know. And here's the, here's the, the, so there's the page one of the journal, okay? And another one, Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. Man, that's a really complicated, how can you, you know? You don't have to, all it is is a bunch of lines to follow the contours, you know, very simple. Put in about 20% of the detail that you see, and yet it's, it's the same place. That's the whole point. <coughs> Here's the Porcelain Valley. Okay, white on dark, light on black is very powerful, so you can still see this. Same sort of place. There's the Grand Teton. Grand Teton. Side of pencil. Side of pencil. Okay? And all the dark areas are simply left dark. Okay? Okay, here's a little bit different one. We were hiking up. There were two different landscapes. There was the early succession of white birch forest and there was the old growth conifer forest. And how do you de how do you depict those two? Well try to put them on one page. A little different So what's a little red arrow for? Well this succeeds into that. And this is simply lighter and then getting darker and darker and darker and all of a sudden the tree is round. Okay? So this was basically one, two, three, four, five, six parallel lines. Two parallel lines with some dark markings, a little bit of to, to suggest the plants. Remember, not a, not a realistic depiction, just a suggestion of them. It's another one. This one was totally wildly complicated, but it, all it is is a series of lines. Layer, 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 layer. I, I tend to start with the back and come forward. Then you, then you put stuff on, you don't have to put stuff on, you can put stuff on top rather than putting it under. You can't put it under. Final. Okay. Up and down. Layer, layer, layer. And that's it. Okay, that's black skits journaling. Okay. We're going to do one. Okay. We're going to, we're going to step you through it. Everybody get it? Yeah. Pencil. Huh? Um, we're going to show you. Well, here's the photo. You should have the photo. I gave you the photo. Over there. All right. You can look at that. We're going to step through it. That time.
remind myself that this one took seven minutes. Okay? It's not detailed, it's not wildly, just good. Alright. The first thing is I created a sense of play, so you don't have to worry about that. But you do have to worry about that. The main outline is to press the mountain. So go through. No, somebody's holding a pencil here like this. Whole thing. This is free. This, this frees your brain. If you hold a pencil like that, you're drawing. No. Like this. Use the side of the pencil, which means you'll need to sharpen it a little bit. No, not this way. Like you're just holding the pencil that way because I don't want you drawing this. I want you to just reform. Sketching it. There's a difference between drawing and sketching. Nobody can draw, everybody can sketch. Drawing is intimidating, sketching is not. It doesn't have to be precise, just an approximation. When you see, when we're finished, it's just going to be an approximation. Remember when we talked about Thomas Moran in Yellowstone? I've been in the same place as he's been. His world-class watercolor paintings are approximations. I guarantee it. It's been 150 years, but it hadn't eroded that much in 150 years. You know? That's what's important is to get the depiction. You don't have to have every little puddle out here and every little undulation. You need to, the overall picture says, Emma Kwan. Okay? Has everybody got this? Alright, we're going to start from the sky. A little bit of clouds, a little bit of blue. You can, you can see where it is. You can see where the clouds are. And remember, light to dark, light to dark. Sky grades from light, dark, light blue to dark blue. that the pencil goes is important. Skies do not go this way. Skies go this way. Mountains go that way. Okay? There's varying pressure, which means they're wider in some places and dark in the other. It's 
pencil has gone the wrong direction, you'll be able to tell. thing to let go and just let it happen. done dead white, nowhere to go. You can take the black and go over the ones that were different color and go over them and make it a little less. You notice you look at the mountain, all of a sudden the mountain is a, tra is a pyramid. So that's empty and then white on the side there. Technique works best with a really sharp pencil. We don't actually use the point. We got a lot of lot of lead out there.
green. Look at this vegetation. It's a really dark green, but I did a light green first. Light green for the trees. Thank <laughs> you.